All right, one question before the house. Going back to the riff at the beginning of the show, here we are, Super Tuesday. Mr. Trump is in total command of the Republican Party, and in, he's got a front-running shot at winning for the election in November. How did he get here? A year ago? Two years ago? Three years ago? Very few pundits or experts would have predicted this, but joining us now on set, Kellyanne Conway, former counselor to President Trump, Fox News contributor, author of Here's the Deal, campaign manager, in 2016, my dear friend. I mean, really, um, he is in a position today that very few people would have expected, even those who were his most loyal followers, et cetera, et cetera. How do you read that story? You should never count Donald Trump out. People see in him a survivor and a strong fighter, and they want both right now. The word that people are really looking for in the presidency is strength. The opposite mm. of strength is weakness. We see that every day. And the opposite of strength is failure. We also see that every day. All the polls reflect it. But the thing about President Trump is it's a combination of luck and tenacity and his ability to just peek around corners nobody else seems to be able to. Also, when people say his base is base, they're missing millions of voters who came from 2016 to 2020. He had a, a plus 13 million delta from his historic uh, come from behind win in 2016, Larry, to an even better margin in 2020 of 74 million. That number is going to be even higher this time if we have record turnout again. And the reason is this combination. You have, I think Donald Trump now has the hunger, the swagger, the underdog, underestimated ethos mm. of 2016 mm. with the presidential record. Mm. So he just seems to have more joy on the job. He leaves all of his competitors more sour and dour. Look at them all. Their favorability rating goes down. Their approval rating goes down. He seems to make them all miserable. And yet, at the same time, he has joy on the job. People want to follow him and listen to him. And they also know they're just going to get a better, they're going to get more security, more prosperity, more opportunity, more safety, more strength, and more immediate results than they have. Just as the Democrats swore Donald Trump was a gift to Joe Biden in 2020, the real open secret is that Joe Biden is a huge gift to Donald Trump in 2020. You know, Rich Lowry uh, writes today in the paper in the New York Post, I mentioned it earlier in the show, there's a nostalgia for Trump. There's a nostalgia for Trump's success. Correct. His Trump record. is a guy of success, no matter what they try to pin on him yes. in New York or any of these other crazy lawfare suits. People want that. They want to be winners again. We feel like we're losers. They want to be win They want to be upbeat. They want America to be strong again around the world. I mean, besides, you know, closing the border and improving the economy, yes. But I think it's an ethos here. It is. You know, it's, 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 it's not exactly Carter Malay's, but it may be it's Carter Malay. But they want a guy to lead them out of it. A tough guy. They've You're actually right. never known three and a half years of success under Joe Biden. That's just a fact. They knew three and a half years of prosperity and success and safety under Trump. So they want that back. They know which one can deliver it, in other words. So it's unprecedented at times. I, the other thing here is that these prosecutions as persecution, as many people see them, increasingly African-Americans, Hispanics, um, college educated. The New York Times wrote an op-ed about it about two months ago. Brilliant. Uh, excuse me. A report about it. How college educated Republicans learned to fall in love with Donald Trump again. Mm -hmm. That's bad news for Nikki Haley mm -hmm. and others. But what was the main reason? I thought I was going to read another story about the economy and inflation or the border. No, it was about these prosecutions. Mm -hmm. And people are saying, I may not like Donald Trump all the time or every tweet or every tone. But my goodness, how much can you pick on one person without ever actually getting him? And I think the most ridiculous looking people right now are all the never Trumpers. Get Trump, get Trump. The wheels are coming off the bus. This is the time. This is the indictment. This is the impeachment. This is the investigation. This is the insult. This is the insight. And they look foolish because they're no match for the legion millions of Trump voters who want that prosperity and that security back. And Larry, I'm going to say now what I said in 2016 after Access Hollywood, it's even more true now. We like to kvetch and complain and converse about what offends us. We vote in the ballot box according to what affects us. That's, that's right. the difference. Well, that's right. And people remember they got a pay raise under Trump and they've had a pay cut under Biden. And in many ways, it's going to be that simple. One last point, though. Um, the coalition he's putting together, working class people, yes. white, black, Latino, Asian, Asian, young. women, young, people who Veterans. are working and want. A pay increase. Yes. I mean, that's a huge... They want security, right? And they'd like some law and order. 
But they'd also like a pain. It's a surround sound have. coalition, Larry, and the whole defund the police. And the and elites don't understand this. They, they do don't not understand, understand it. This. They, well, fortunately, for every one elite, they have um, ten gardeners, drivers, manicurists uh, <laughs> who are yes, that's who exactly are voting right. for Donald Trump on um, this time. And and look, it, part of it is the natural attrition away from Biden. But part of it is Trump's message. People, I get stopped all the time, just anecdotally, and they will say, "Please tell the president I'm for him. Please tell him I'm going to vote for him." These are not people who the Democrats think they're losing That's right. to a person. And when you see these monster numbers in everybody's polling, mm. it, Donald Trump, 23% among African Americans, if he gets half of that, it's game over. If he gets 40% of Hispanic males, it's over. He doesn't need a majority of young people, women, folks in the suburbs, uh, Hispanics, African Americans. He just needs to do better than the average Republican does. Which he will. And he will. Which he will. Kellyanne Conway, the best of Thank the you. best. Thank you very super, much. Super, super Tuesday.